Hey, what up, Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Before You Buy Fallout 76 video. So, in this video, we're going to take a look at the Vault Tech Shelter Starter Bundle. So, uh, as you can see, I already own some parts of, from this bundle, but in any case, I will cover them all. So, let's not waste some time and jump right into it. <laughs> All right, so the first uh, item that we're going to take a look at that is included within this bundle, it's called the Small Vault Tech Prototype Generator. So in order to build it, you will need to navigate to your Build Menu Generators section, find the small generator, and scroll a little bit to the side until you find the Vault Tech Prototype Generator. So I honestly prefer this one most to all other generators that we have, right? And the reason is, first of all, it's looking really freaking dope. Second of all, it does not make this noise <laughs> you know uh, right now we have a war going on in Ukraine and a lot of uh, like coffee shops small shops all have ordered these generators and when you walk outside man the, like it, it feels like as if you're vis visiting somebody else's camp in Fallout 76 I mean that's how I felt uh, when we had no electricity for three days all those generators just like damn <laughs> anyway so uh, here it is what we get and uh, you can see on the right side what you need in order to build it it generates uh, three power there you go looking really really nice and quiet <laughs> so yeah this is like this is definitely a must-have and this is the thing that I actually use all the time even when claiming the uh, uh, workshops so I have a blueprint created uh, and uh, to power up everything I just have it like uh, can I access blueprints no I cannot access blueprints here but anyway so go back to the generators tab so what I have is I have them four stacked on each other right like this then I have them connected to each other and I have created the blueprint so I would put the uh, you know anything that I'm trying to gather which requires power and uh, basically it works <laughs> I mean it it's definitely one of my favorite skins so yeah this is definitely a must-have like in my notebook I don't know how it's like for you but you can comment down below which uh, power generator do you prefer I mean the skin and stuff like that comment down below all right let's move on to the next item Alright, so the next uh, item that we're going to be taking a look at, it's called Voltec Cross Linoleum. Oh my god. I am sorry if I'm mispronouncing stuff. I am from Ukraine sometimes. I do mispronounce stuff. This is something like Linoleum. Anyway, uh, so Linoleum floor and foundations. So we got two types of foundations this type of foundation and this type of foundation. If you scroll a little bit and look for uh, foundation. Voltec, there we go. So this is what we get uh, the cross Voltec Lilalia. Then we also got this version as well. Just scroll a little bit until you find the Voltec cross Lilalia. And then we got the floor, uh, which also you scroll and you find the next uh, cross, what we're looking for. Uh, now, this works in, in the shelters. If you're not in the shelter building, you will need uh, stairs to build that floor. So do have that in mind, that's in case if you're new to this game. So there we go, that's what we have, boom, and ready. So let me go into photo mode and show you how it looks like, boom, so that's how it looks like. Oh, I built the wrong one for the floor, but anyway, I got a copy over here. So this is three of them, and looks nice. I might even going to switch my entire, all of that buildings to this one, not quite sure, we'll see. But yeah, I mean, this is what you get. Looks good. So let's move on to the next item. All right, the next item in this bundle would be the Voltec Official uh, Weapons Workbench. In order to apply the skin, you will need to go to your building menu, crafting section, then you find your weapon workbench, and you scroll to uh, until you find uh, this item. So there we go, Voltec Workbench. Yeah, this is it. According to the screenshots that I've saved, this is it. So this is what we get. And I'll replace it with the one I had. 
So boom, let me just place one. Actually, yeah, let me place one over here so I can show it to you from all sides as well using this photo mode. Yeah, uh, this is what you get. Honestly, like uh, I would really love if it would not have this uh, kind of like old effect. Like the paint would be like like this, like like a, as if it wasn't even damaged. You know, clean basically, clean, clean. So I think there is a version like that. I'm not quite sure because uh, there is a whole bunch of skins, but. It is what it is. This is what is included within this bundle. Uh, let me just quickly take a look. Yeah, we got this one. Yeah, definitely this is it. Uh, yeah, so let's move on to the next item. Alright, so the next item would be vault Modern uh, Linoleum for Floor and Foundations. So there are two uh, included. Uh, skins for floor and foundations within this bundle so this is the one that we have already reviewed and if we scroll a little bit this is the new one that we're looking at so boom boom same goes for the foundation right there we go boom and same goes for this foundation as well boom now let's go photo mode so you can clearly see it a little bit more so this is what you get And I've also made a copy over here. So this is what we're reviewing now, right? And this is what we already reviewed. Honestly, I think I prefer the cross a little bit more to this one right here. All right, so uh, this is it for this item. Let's move on to the next one. All right, so the next item that we have on the list, it's called Vault Tech Cuckoo Clock. <laughs> if I mis pronounce, mispronounce that thing. So essentially, uh, in order to build it, you will need to go to your wall decor, find this clock or whichever clock you have for the wall decor uh, visible. But I think this one is by default. And then scroll until you find your clock from all the clocks that you already own. So there we go. This is the clock, if I'm not mistaken by the screenshots. But there you go. Voltec Cuckoo Clock. I hope I did not mispronounce that. Anyway, so once you've built it, this is how it's going to look like. It's also actually animated. I'm going to turn on the animation just in a second. First of all, let me show you this visually quickly so you can see it from all sides over here. Actually, pretty decent clock, to be honest. I mean, definitely good to have in one of your houses. And then you can also activate it. Bye. <laughs> Alright, so uh, that's I think pretty much it for this item. Let's move on to the last item. Alright, and the final item that is included within this bundle is called the vault Overstuffed Chair, which actually also was included in the past bundles as well because I already had it when I bought this specific chair. Uh, but anyway, it's located at the chair section. So if you once you open your build menu, uh, navigate to the chair section. This chair is actually the very first item that I see from all other chairs that I own, right? But since this is a super old uh, chair, it's got just the basic uh, animation, basically. So the way it, well, basically it works like uh, whenever you sit with any other chair uh, but the newer chairs that uh, have been delivered to the atomic shop they all have different types of animations like for example uh, this chair is one of my favorite chairs and this one as well so basically this one is really cool when he sits down like a king without X was so ready to dominate see uh, the difference and uh, this chair looks like more of like like that chair but the difference is uh, he kind of like opens it up and he puts his legs on it like, like you see it goes in chill mode. So there are newer chairs with different types of animations which is pretty cool. Like hey what's up you're enjoying this video aren't you? Don't forget to smash that like. So yeah. But gotta give it to you. This chair I mean it's still looking good. Look at that. 
all clean and all. So look at that. So when I was reviewing uh, the work, I mean the weapon workbench, I was talking about this. Like it would be really cool if that uh, weapon workbench would be clean, like this chair, right? Like over there. So the paint would be fresh looking. That would be cool. Uh, but it is what it is. That's what we've got. I'm not quite sure if we already have a clean uh, Voltec uh, weapon workbench. If if it is, as soon as it pops back to the atomic shop, I'll let you know. And yeah, so that's um, pretty much it. All right, this is where I'm going to be calling in the end for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, you know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like, comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them, nobody can read them, nobody can respond to them. Do have that in mind. So if you got positive and negative feedback, you can always comment. The only thing I ask of you is not to swear. And if you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z-Client. I'm Gamer Z, so from Ukraine, so hi from Ukraine. Once again, thanks a lot for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one. And by the way, as of recording this video, which is the 8th of December 2022, there's still a war going on in Ukraine, so if you're open for any charity, I will leave two links to two different foundations created by the NBU, which stands for National Bank of Ukraine. One foundation for military, the other one is for... Um, humanitarian so if you're open to any uh, charity feel free to use one of those links and thank you for all the support and love so I'll see you all on the next video bye from the ashes we rose into the future